Hey guys, got a minute? We've been talking and um, I know that uh, I've been ta saying that these one takes, you know, I've been kind of running with them for a little bit. Um, I've gotten my software up, um, so I should be able to edit here soon. Um, and things have changed and different things. I'm going to try to, I've had a lot of positive feedback from the one takes. People are really enjoying them, so thank you for that. Um, and so I'm going to try here soon. We're going to try to edit a little bit. We're going to introduce our um, starter back up and different uh, things, but not as much as what I used to. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, just honor what you guys have been telling me in the feedback, so I appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate your guys' time. Um, I know that you know, like you could be watching any other YouTube video or you could be, you know, doing your own thing and um, you spending time with uh, Minute Ministries is, is just awesome and I appreciate it. Um, so today I wanted to talk about um, the fact that the, uh, whenever people go through trauma, right, um, people growing up, you know, go through child abuse, um, those people are more likely to abuse others whenever they become empowered themselves. Uh, people who uh, have alcoholic parents are more likely to be alcoholics themselves. Uh, people who uh, grow up with family members that smoke are more likely to smoke. All of these things um, are just aspects that are truth. And it doesn't matter, you know, like my parents smoked whenever I was growing up and, and uh, you know, like I hated it. Um, I hated the smell of smoke. I hated um, just all the aspects of it. And, you know, like looking at it, I have, you know, brothers that smoke, you know, like I'm, I'm the one that doesn't. And it's, you know, just like one of these things. Well, how, how did I end up being the odd one whenever it comes to, to, to statistics? And, you know, like this is the thing because um, a lot of us have trauma and a lot of things that are in our background and we think we hate it so much and we hate it so much and in the end it's what we turn into and i think if some people have gone to as far to say what you hate hate you will become and i think that there's some truth to that because whenever you hate something you are sowing your thoughts into that thing you're sowing your time and your energy into hating that thing. You're not sowing that time and energy and thoughts into something different. Um, so whenever you hate something, it's it's a strong emotion. It's a strong, passionate thing. And what you, you know, what you sow, you're going to reap. And you're sowing your time and your energy into hating something, not introducing something new. And so one of the things that I would say if, if um, you know, because the Bible does talk about sowing and reaping, start to introduce something new. If if you have something that you you're struggling with if it's uh you know your parents were alcoholics or you you know like your dad was and you know like he uh, was abusive, you know like uh, you got to introduce Jesus. Jesus is the only one that can go in and that can eradicate the weed from the root and be able to grow in that soil. And so spend your time with him. Spend your time thinking and spend that same time that you have in anger and frustration, spend that time with God. And spend it just, you know, celebrating God. And start to adjust your own mindset. Realize nobody loves this. I don't, I don't think anybody loves being alcoholic or alcoholism. Um, we all know that that's a negative thing. So there's got to be something more. And so if we take our, our time to think about pray about, you know, God introducing something new. He wants to help us. He wants to grow us. And so um, don't sow all your time and your energy and your anger into something that you don't want to become because what you hate, you will become. Thanks for taking a minute, guys. See you guys uh, next week.